Operation Farsight, the Air Force Space Research Project based on Eniwetok Island prepares for the launching of an ambitious stab into outer space via a rocket firing from a balloon at the height of some 19 miles. The missile is a light 1,900-pound four-stage rocket designed not to orbit like the Sputnik, but to carry instruments higher than ever before attained and radio its data back to Earth. Four previous attempts failed. Defense Department films show the fifth. It goes without a hitch. All the way. Purpose of firing from the balloon is to blast off in rarefied atmosphere at a height where air friction is at a minimum. Data obtained here will be of signal value both in the conquest of outer space and in America's development of an intercontinental missile, a height reached by the rocket an estimated 4,000 miles. Man's farthest stride into outer space. Following a three-day conference with President Eisenhower, Prime Minister Macmillan of Great Britain tells of the NATO pooling of technical skills and materials. He also gives an emphatic statement of free nation aims. We are not allowing ourselves to boss the world. We are making ourselves better prepared and better organized to serve the world. The first International Atoms for Peace Award is made by President Eisenhower, a gold medal and $75,000 honorarium to Niels Bohr, Denmark's leading citizen and the world foremost nuclear scientist. New honors for a living legend of science.